forever. This is paint that is supposed to be weatherproof and can be used on an exterior work of art, so it probably won't come out. Uh, but everybody's different. You will develop a different speed, maybe, that floats your boat a little bit better. Also notice that often I will put the paint down and I'll get one, two, three, four rotations out of it, especially with a lighter color, because the lighter colors are harder to maintain the lightness without smearing them around. I overshot my yellow because it's going to blend in with the green. So every time you apply any type of pressure against the surface, you got to figure, well, what's it blending in with? Because that can alter your colors. This is more of a turquoise than it is blue. Colors for one of these. Now when you do this, it's a little bit like figuring out um, how to pet a cat without going against the grain. Colors blend beautifully. Um, but the light colors, of course, get eaten up by other colors. Notice that I'm always bracing my hand. I don't have any blue. It's such a simple thing. It's so simple, but it's fun and it's beautiful. And I can do this for hours. Granted, I can't stand up straight when I'm done, but it's not important. I might lose my dinner a few times. Great. You can blend any color. You don't have to stick with the spectrum. You can do any, you can be monochromic if you want. And then obviously the more you hold it down, the more the colors are going to blend. So if you just solid hold all the colors down for like five minutes, you'll get brown, which is also nice. <laughs> 